What's up guys and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red, Red Run. In the last episode we took down the final gym in Kanto, which is further up than I had anticipated, and that is the Viridian City Gym, and Giovanni took off saying that Rocket was no more, Team Rocket was no more. And I've done quite a bit since I saw you guys last, I've grinded far too long and got all of my Pokemon up to level 48, which was a pain in my ass. It was, it was just not fun. And I can't remember who all learned anything new. I taught strength to Snorlax to speed up the grinding process. Um, Eevee knows Dig, but I'm pretty sure I taught Eevee Dig on screen in an earlier episode. Arrow didn't learn anything. Pika learned Thunder, which is probably going to be a big help in this next battle. Uh, Venusaur didn't learn anything, Polyrath didn't learn anything, and that's it. But yeah, I also lost the Chesto Berry by a stupid play I pulled while grinding. So I have an extra one, but I'll replace that later. And also, I'm going to teach Snorlax like a new move, or maybe three new moves, but not in this episode. Because we don't really need it, it'd be helpful, but I'm not going to use it. And I'm going to try something new. I'm going to move Polly to the front just because of uh, the battle that's coming up. I mean, what battle? Alright, but we are going to head west of Viridian City onto Route 22. The only route we haven't seen so far. And I think there's a secret item up here somewhere. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I just imagined that. Alright, I think I imagined that. Anyway... Let's head on. Oh no, look who it is. What? Red, what a surprise. To see you here. Nice pause. So you're going to the Pokemon League. You collect all the badges too? That's cool. Then I'll whip you, Red, as a warm-up for the Pokemon League. Come on! Come on! Show me your moves. And at least he has a full roster this time, finally. And there's a reason I grinded up this far is because... His Pokemon are not messing around. They are super strong, and of course I forgot that Polly's part fighting type. This could be a very, um, a very painful battle for poor Polly. Let's hope we take it out fairly quickly. I think we can survive another wing attack. And really the only thing we need to do from this point on is take this out, Rain Dance, Surf, and then we'll be set. I don't know if he'll be able to survive what I'm gonna try to do. Charizard? Why would you... Why would you do that? Yeah, of course I'm gonna change. Um, was not expecting to see Charizard now. In a practice run I did with this, he totally didn't bring Charizard out. Um, no, but... That's good. His strongest Pokemon is level 53! That's... Five levels higher than ours! Had to make sure I did math right there, yeah. But he's also quad weak to rock and arrows faster. Let's hope we can take him out in one shot. Oh, we totally can. His strongest Pokemon just went down like a chump. Uh, Gyarados. Yes, I'm going to switch to our Pikachu. I want to use Thunder here, but I know that that's probably going to be a bad idea since our Pikachu is so frail. So I'm just going to stick with thunder sh Thunderbolt and hope we hit him. Oh, wow, we're faster. I probably could have used Thunder there, but I think this is going to be able to take him out since he's quad weak. Oh, yeah, no problems there. This is going a lot smoother than my practice run. Practice run, I lost two Pokemon. Uh, yeah, we're going to send out Holly. There's really only one more Pokemon on his team that I have an issue with. And usually I would have rain dance because in anticipation of this Rhyhorn, but since he didn't bring out his Rhyhorn first off and he brought out that Charizard, I can just regularly surf him and not have to set up for Pikachu and Gyarados, because that's what I was initially going to try. Um, now this is where it gets a little sketchy. Um, what strong? He has the black glasses on. And his attack's a lot stronger. 
and I want him to get some screen time, so I'm going to shift in V for Alakazam, even though Alakazam is probably going to just one-shot kill, one-shot KO us with Psychic, because he's a beast. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna try we're gonna try biting him. He used Calm Mind, so his defense went up. His special defense, not his actual defense. So his frail defenses are still there. Oh, that didn't do much damage at all. Let's try Shadow Ball. Oh, and here we go. Well, Evie, it was nice knowing you. Who are we gonna send out now? Um. I guess we'll send out Aerodactyl, because he knows a Dark-type move. They can take him down fairly easily. His bite does a lot more damage than Eevee's does. Wow, no it doesn't. Um... Bite's just a crap move. None of these can learn Crunch, though. Which is defeating. Didn't know Crunch was that, like, rare of a move for Pokémon until, until I tried to see if it could be taught to any of mine, and it totally can't. Execute. Let's... Let's send out Polly. Because Polly's got that Ice-type move that's just perfect. Alright. This is going to take him down in one hit. Oh, nice! That wasn't bad. I was just careless, you. But sure, we beat you, though. That loosened me up. I'm ready for the Pokemon League. Red, you need more practice. But hey, you know that I'm out of here. Smell ya. That was spaced weird. I had to pause there for a sec. Uh, I'm going to go back and heal. Definitely. So that grinding did a little. V did not get much out of it, but... Uh, I can't wait until we have the opportunity to evolve it because I've changed my move sets around for what I'm going to be using, and it's looking good. It's looking good. I like I like what Espeon eventually is going to have, and I can't wait until I do a let's play of the Generation Two games, which this is technically a Generation One game built in the Generation Three engine, which is all right, but. I'm thinking the best game is the Generation 2 games built in the Generation 4 engine after everything was fixed and still had that Generation 2 feel to it. I think Soul Silver and Heart Gold are the best games in the series, followed closely by um, Black and White, and a t it's a tie between Black and White and Platinum. Maybe. I think Black and White beats Platinum. Um, I'm not going to call it because it's we've only been doing for a little bit, so we'll just head forward into whatever the hell this area is called. It's got the nice music. Oh, that's the boulder badge. Go right ahead. I'm not going to say the say what all these guys say. And this is going to be a fairly short episode because, yeah, I'm not going to be going through the next area because I get lost very easily. And I'd like to grind there. Well, I guess I could grind there after we go through it. Uh, I guess I'll make my decision when we get up there, but let me just tell you, man. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, it's probably going to be a very abrupt cut, because for some reason, my screen recorder stopped recording, and I'm not going to know where it stopped until post- or until production. Pre-production? Whatever. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep going until where I already got. Uh, I've already been through this guy. And I've been through this guy. And I've been through the ones across the water. Or I've made it to across the water. All they're doing is asking for the badges that we've earned over time. So not missing much. I don't know what happened there. But I did notice that it was recording when we came in here, but it wasn't by the time we got to about right here because I ran into an encounter and looked down and it was no longer recording. It was paused for some reason. So, yeah. This guy's going to take our volcano badge that we worked so hard for. And 
This is usually where I catch a ditto in the uh, previous games. It's a nice ditto catching area. The Earth Badge. And this is where I said I was going to stop the video, mainly because I, I, I don't really recall how to get through the Indigo Plateau that well, or Victory Road, I guess. And I don't want it to be another video of like me speeding up and playing music, so I think I'm going to call it here, very short episode. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I will see you next time.